This was a paper in mice that set the basis for studies in humans that came later. And the title of this paper is Time-Restricted Feeding Without Reducing Caloric Intake prevents metabolic diseases in mice fed a high fat diet. So the title tells us a lot. It says that what's varied in this study is not what these mice ate, it was when they ate it. One of the most important things to take away from this study was that mice that ate a highly palatable, high fat diet, a great tasting diet, but only during a restricted feeding window of each 24 hour cycle maintained or lost weight over time. Whereas mice that ingested the same diet, same amount of calories, but had access to those calories around the clock, gained weight, became obese, and quite sick. And as an additional second point, the mice that restricted their feeding window to a particular portion of eight hours of every 24-hour cycle actually showed some improvement in important health markers. And what was even more incredible is that mice that only ate during a particular feeding window also experienced some reversal of some prior negative health effects. Not only did restricting food to a particular phase of the 24-hour cycle benefit things like lean body mass and fat loss and a number of health parameters that I'll talk about in a moment, but it also anchored all the gene systems of the body and provided a more regular, stable, so-called circadian rhythm or 24-hour rhythm. 